Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well, you're safe. I hope your family's doing well, you know, it's hard times. Yeah, today you already know, I'm just gonna get straight into it. This is a full face first impressions. Products will be listed down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, follow all my socials. And yeah, if you wanna see what I think about all these different products, keep on watching. For foundation, I have the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. This is in the shade three. 300 C. It was either this one, the Huda Beauty Foundation, or the Beauty Blender, but the worker said that this one was her favorite. The bottle is so sleek and nice. It's a nice pump. I have the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. This is what it looks like. I feel like everyone is using this sponge, but me. It feels really nice. Yeah, the shade looks pretty good because she color matched me. It's pretty runny. The sponge, it's not super soft, but it's not hard. Like it's pretty firm, but it's like a good firm. It's 100% a luminous foundation. There's a glow, it's nice. I really like that because I've dry skin. Coverage is really nice. It's like pretty much the perfect coverage that I would go for. It's like a medium. Yeah, the sponge blends it out really nicely and easy, evenly, and the shade's perfect. See, overall, it's super flawless, like, in real life. Like, it's such a nice coverage. It's your medium to full coverage foundation. Blended out like a dream. This doesn't, I feel like it doesn't absorb as much because it is more stiff. Stiff, is that the right word? I don't even know. I'm really liking how it's all looking. For cream contour, I had this Sports Girl Beauty face palette, foundation palette. I got this ages ago, so I don't know if it's still, like, sold. This is what it looks like. I thought I could cream contour with this. I didn't want to use it as a foundation palette because I don't like these sort of palettes for foundation. A flat brush and I'm going to... I'm going to take this shade and I might get this shade here to contour. Might blend the darker shade a bit. It is a foundation palette so I'm not being too judgmental. It was nice to blend, like it didn't take off any of the foundation or anything like that. It gives me a little dimension, so overall it's not bad at all. I just gotta give it a few more goes, like I'm not fully into it, if you know what I'm saying. For concealer, this isn't new, I've tried this before, the Fit Me from Maybelline, absolutely love it. This is in the shade 20 Sand, but this is like a new bottle for me because I've had this for months, but I never wanted to open a new concealer because I just wanted to like finish what I had. Here I am opening it <laughs> with the sponge. It just blends out so easy. The shade is perfect. I forgot how good this is. Powder. This is the Faculua. Remember this brand? If not, I have this whole beauty box video on my channel and basically I was reviewing the brand Faculua. Faculia. If you have seen that video, I still can't pronounce it. Faculua. Faculia. Mate, this is the oil-free setting powder. I got this from AliExpress. I am filming a full face AliExpress, but I'm waiting on one more product. This is in the shade number one. Got a little sponge, a sticker that, that will take me 10 minutes to open, so bear it back. Finally got it. I don't know if this is supposed to be translucent or not. It looks pretty nicely milled. It feels really soft, but white. So I'm kind of concerned with I don't know if I should bake because I really want to use this flat edge. So I might do that on one side at least. Oh wow, okay. You really can get up close to your eye, which I love. I really want to brush this off so it's not super white, which is exactly what happened. Oh my god. Ew. I'm trying to just absorb all of that product. It gives me a white cast underneath my eyes. It's kind of looking super powdery and gross. So let's use a brush and lightly powder it underneath my eyes and see how that goes, which is 100% so much better than baking. It might be my fault because I don't know if it's a translucent or a shade number one. Doing this is pr is nice. It's smooth. And I promise I'm not trying to bash the brand Facula. Like I'm all for products being good, but just last, that last video I could not deal. I don't know if you can see, but it's making everything super cakey looking, especially underneath this eye. So I don't recommend baking with it. Eyebrows, I have this Revolution Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Bulletproof brows, well I damn hope so. Standard glass jar with a jewel ended brush. But I'm a bit confused about the packaging, like it only needed that. I guess to fit that. <laughs> yeah, I see. Definitely a waste of cardboard, but you know, I've seen worse, so. 
Anyways, I'm just gonna use a brush. It's not the thinnest of brushes. It's definitely pigmented. I don't know if it's the brush. I might try it with a different brush on the other side to see if I like the product as well. It's not a wet formula, like, but it's not super drying. Like it goes on really nicely. I really like that. It was really easy to use. It wasn't dry. It wasn't wet. Color is pretty much perfect for me. Brow mascara. I have the skinny brow mascara in brunette from the Sports Girl. I got this ages ago as well. I've never tried it. So with a really thin brush, but long. It's not super small. It's just super thin. See, that's really brunette. It's making my hair's light brown. Sink, that looks more brown, if you can tell. For eyes, I don't have a primer. I have the Color Tattoo from Maybelline. I haven't heard people use this in so long, but this is in the shade 90 Vintage Plum. Anyway, so I wanted to use that. I have this W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream. This palette, which I used in my last video, but I only used this shade, so I might want to dive into some of those shades. So I'm going to try this Color Tattoo. I have not used one of these in so long. Ew. It's kind of already really dry, but it was in, it was sealed. It kind of blends out to not that much. Maybe this is why people don't talk about it that much. <laughs> I'm just going to put this away and let that do its thing over there. So this is the shade Heavy Metal. They're sheer, but you know, Rose Garden. They're really... Okay, I might use this one. I might go in with this mustard shade and just blend this out. And I'm just gonna bring that same shade down. Recently just bought some Morphe stuff. I got the James Charles palette, which I know is like old news, but I don't really have any Morphe stuff. Bought the Jeffree Star palette, which I know, old news, but the Jeffree Star Morphe palette and the Continuous Setting Spray, which I'm so excited to use. And I'm gonna go through this brown. Warm it up a bit. I'm basically going over whatever that Maybelline thing was. I also thought about another little series thing, series thing that I could do was get like popular palettes and just do two different looks, two different eye looks. Just like a fun way to just incorporate all my palettes. Okay, so it's like super grungy. Oh my god, I thought I had cat ears on. I'm gonna use this to kind of cut my crease, but I want to use this shade, which is like an olive brown. Do this, see how it looks, suss it, but then I want to get over it with that. It, it's very subtle. It's if you want a subtle brown shimmery shade. I also just put some in a corner highlight from a different palette because that's the only downside with this palette it does not have it instead of this creamy shade that they want people to use to prep their base they should have put like a shimmery in a corner highlight shade and it would be perfect while it's still wet i want to pack on this shade i want to just like tap in here i just have an urge to like tap in here just the tiniest bit and just put some glitter in it, you know, but not so it's super opaque. Yeah, I really like the palette. I don't know about these, like they're nice for like a subtle look. For mascara, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Lash Sensational Fan Full Effect. Blah, blah. Had this for ages, again, didn't want to open it. Different brush. I usually love these mascaras, so hopefully I do like this one. It's pretty hard to use because of the shape of the mascara wand. Like it really fans out at the end. I mean, that's in the name. It's a bit clumpy, it's really wet. So maybe this is like one of those mascaras where it performs better when it dries down a little bit. It's not my favorite mascara. Usually I'm very easy with mascaras because all I need to do is make my lashes black. Kind of hard to use. I don't know if that's because my lashes are small. An update with the foundation, concealer, powder, whatever. It's seeping into lines already and it's been like 40, 30 minutes. When I baked here, it looks so cakey and separating. This side isn't as bad, but it doesn't look as nice as I wanted to. So I'm going to try everything out individually. So for lashes, this is some Morphe lashes. The premium lashes, it looks so nice. A new glue. This is the Ardell for strip lash clear adhesive. So there's the glue. I remember I didn't like squeezy tube lash glues because like you can't control how much you squeeze and I don't want to put it on my hand and dip it in and all that. So these are the lashes that I have a tendency to not cut it enough. So I think that's what happened because it's some something stabbing me in this eye. Very dramatic. I'm not like super in love to be honest. I'm not sure. So for bronzer, I have the Sephora Moyen Medium Number no. 2 Sun Disc Bronzing Powder. Nice pigmentation. 
it's a really nice colour for me. Easy to blend. It's not overly pigmented, but it has enough pigment so you can build it up. That's nice. For blush, I have another Faculua product. Didn't realise this was a refill blush, but it is. This is in the, the shade BO6 Charisma. Massive packaging for that. Are you kidding me? So that is the shade. It's a nice blush. It's a nice colour, nice pigmentation, not overly pigmented, but definitely has colour, build it up. Thanks Faculua, Faculia. So I don't have a new highlighter, but this is the Savvy Mineral Baked Highlighter, which I just used in my previous video. It is so blinding. It is beautiful. I really wanted to use it again. Why is it so nice? A setting spray. This obviously isn't new, but this is a new bottle. Urban Decay All Nighter. My boyfriend got me this. Who doesn't love all a nighter? The lips. Lips, lips, lips. I have this Revolution Bare All Lip Gloss. Is it a lip gloss? Oh, it smells like creme caramel. It's a lip gloss. So I just put a lipstick on and I'm just going to put this gloss. So yeah, that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I've said what I needed to say. Overall, it looks good, like I could go out right now, but nothing new blew my mind. Like I've tried the palette, I love it. I tried the concealer, I've loved it. You know, everything is up in the air, so I need to like try it some more. I will see you in my next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to keep washing your hands, stay safe, stay indoors, and yeah, see you in my next one.